Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day, for the presence of the Holy Spirit during this ceremony. We thank you for what this day represents and for what will happen as John Wagner and Candace Lowe commit their lives to each other. We surround them with our love, our faith, and our prayers. We trust that this day will carry the full meaning that you intend and that you will be glorified in their life together. In Jesus' name, amen. In the Bible, we see the beautiful truth that God created us with a need for a relationship with Him. But it brings me great joy knowing that both of you have a personal relationship with God by giving your lives to Jesus Christ. And not only did God create us with a need for divine companionship, He also created us with a need for human companionship. God said in the book of Genesis, it's not good for man to be alone. I will make a companion suitable for him. When Adam saw the woman that God had made for him, he said, this is now bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. The Bible goes on to say, therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they shall be one flesh. John and Candace, may the love of God be the law by which your marriage covenant is conducted and fulfilled. I now charge you in the presence of Almighty God and these witnesses that you love, honor, and cherish one another all the days of your lives. And I charge you that you faithfully fulfill the vows that you have made this day, and that you regard them as sacred and holy, and may you recognize and walk in the miracle that is taking place here today. May God's love be the strength of your relationship, and may His Word be the guide by which you live. John, you may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. John and Candace Washington.